This is a basic single level float switch. Today, I'm going to show you how it works. The purpose of this switch is to open or close a circuit as the level of liquid rises or falls. The float moves up and down on a shaft as the liquid level changes. Now let's look at the components that make up the float switch. Let's start with the reed switch, which goes inside the shaft. There are two metal contacts inside which are not touching. On the float, there are two holes which have a magnet inside, just like the one I'm holding. When the magnet passes over the two contacts in the switch, it causes the metal contacts to close and complete the circuit. Taking the magnet away opens the connection. Wires are then soldered to both ends of the reed switch. It also gets covered with shrink tubing like this. To assemble, we insert the shaft into the float and clip it in place. Here's the float switch fully assembled. We use epoxy to hold the wires in so that they don't pull out. And that is how a float switch works.